Hi, and welcome. So, if you're new to my channel, hit that like button and subscribe. So, today I'll be uh, reviewing Star Trek uh, 3 The Third for Fun. Okay, so, um, um, so this is a sequel. Star Trek 3 The Search for Thought is a sequel to Star Trek 2 The Wrath of Khan. So, um, I gotta tell you, I give you a little background in all my Star Trek reviews. I didn't grow up with Star Trek in 2022, that this year. In 2022 is the first year that I watched Star Trek for, for the for time. So, 2022 is the first year that I watched Star Trek the original series from the very first time. Then I then I turn around and watch the anime series, Star Trek the anime series. Okay, and I fell in love with them. Okay, um, uh, I have not watched uh, the Next Generation, so after I watched all the all the, the original fit Star Trek movie, then I'll probably go watch uh, the Next Generation series. Before I watch the Net Generation uh, movie, so I think there what uh, there were three or four uh, Net Generation movie, okay, and I had those on DVD as well, uh, because uh, when Paramount Plus came out, and I subscribed to it, get to watch Beauty and the Butthead, and then uh, on my uh, Paramount Plus app, uh, I saw where uh, uh, they had all the um, uh, you know, Star Trek, and I said, well, I'll give it a chance, and I might like it. Okay, and I never seen Star Trek, so I, I, I watched it, a uh, couple episodes of the original theory, and I got into it. Okay, and, okay, and, but on the, on the Paramount Plus, they didn't have, they might have one or two movies, but the most, they didn't have, uh, all of them. And so that's why I went and bought all the Star Trek movies on DVD, even the new one. And, um, okay, so I'm gonna try to see how long it takes me to watch everything on Star Trek. I don't know if I watch everything on, but I'm gonna try to do my best to watch most of them, okay? Um, so, uh, Star Trek 3, the first for Fox, um, got 78. Uh, put that on Ryan Tomato, the critic gave it 78%, okay, and the audience gave it 58%, so you got 78% from the critic, and the audience is 50 percent okay, um, now, um, uh, let me see here, um, now, I like it. I think it's, it's, it's a good, decent, uh, sequel. Um, it's a lot better than the first movie, Star Trek The Motion Picture. Star Trek The Motion Picture is a boring movie. Not good. What I like about, uh, Star Trek The Original Theory is that every episode, uh, they have some kind of father, uh, they have the faith. And by the end of the, of the, of the theory, I mean, I mean, the end of the episode, it's over. They, uh, they, they solve the uh, problem, and then they, the episode ends, okay? And you wonder how they're going to solve it in that length of time. And they do it really well. And you wonder why Captain Kurt keep going to another planet and beam down when uh, every time they beam down to another planet, and every and another episode, or I should say, in every episode, uh, he faced conflict, danger, okay, tension, okay, and that's what made me like Star Trek: The Original Theory. You like you like danger, conflict, tension, okay, um, and then by the end of the episode, like uh, it's gone. A solve the problem or the bad guy. Uh, now, uh, if I had to, um, uh, the first dog, 
Did I like the movie? Yes. And I think, and I said, it's a lot better than Star Trek, the motion picture. Okay. I would say this is an underrated, um, uh, movie. Uh, and not as good as Rapper Khan. I would say the reason why a lot of people, in my opinion, like Rapper Khan, Star Trek to the Rapper Khan, probably because of the death of, a uh, Bob. Um, and, um, this is not a perfect movie. And I really liked it a lot. I like the ending, uh, with, with, um, uh, Captain Current fight the, uh, Klingon bad guy and kick them all and fall into the lava. That's really good, okay? And I, I, and I knew, I knew that was gonna happen when they keep showing the, uh, toward the end, the last five minutes, they keep showing the, you know, the fire and stuff. Okay? Um, uh, so I like the ending. Um, now, if I had uh, to pick two problems with this movie that the critic might not like, or or for me, um, one is um, it could show uh, more of the bad guy, like the clown. They're like 10, 15 minutes without the bad guy. I'm like. Where the bad guy, okay? Um, uh, you have a movie where the bad guy's in the movie and we all want more of the bad guy, okay? Whether it be action movie, sci-fi movie, comic book movie, and we want more of the bad guy, okay? And then another, another thing, and, uh, some people might like that, some people might not, is, uh, Bob come back to life, okay? And some people might like and some people don't. That this might hurt the movie. This might hurt um, the ending or the rapper con. Comic book movie does this. Action action movie does this. Okay. Um. So um. Okay. Um. So that might be a reason why some people might not like this movie. Um. Okay. So, um, so overall, I think it's an enjoyable movie. It was entertaining, not boring. Um, I'm gonna give this a search for thought, a B plus. And and if I were and if I were um, on Rotten Tomatoes, I would go for like. At, at least an 80 to 85 percent. Very good. Okay. Uh, um, I would I would say I need more um, more tension, more villainy of the Klingon being bad guy, more screen time of them. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so, um, and, so, um, uh, that's it, and, um, and use my channel, hit the like button, and the crowd. thank you.